what's up guys? Sinus Stalker here for another video. This video is sort of like another night stalking video because right now it's about almost 11 o'clock at night. And I'm on a movie sort of hunt mission. I'm going to the big boy Walmart right up in there to get a certain movie that I've, I was told like it's super good, bad, but an amazing, the best sense of the word, uh, bad but great kind of flick. So hopefully they have it in there. Um, so I'm gonna get in there right now and let's do it like that and then from there who knows what else But let's do some late-night Walmart blu-ray movie hunting and up here in this parking lot. They have this weird like Street patrol camera sort of blue light strobing kind of thing going on So we'll go over here check out the Walmart Late night style and see what they got and hopefully they have the title I want to get at this location I don't know if they do or not But I'm hoping they do because if not I have to find another Walmart to see if they have it as I'm walking in, I see this. Look at this. You know, Elf in the Shelf, but they have an like Elf in the Shelf cereal. Looks really creepy with that Elf right there. Sugar cookie cereal. I'm going to try this out, though. I don't want to get it now, but I might have to try this out sometime. Right now, I just heard, like, at this Walmart, it's almost 11 o'clock when, when I came in here. This one closes at 11, so I have to go to the movie area real quick, and hopefully they have what I want. Whew, real quick. And so here we are, and then, um... I'll try to cut through here and check out some, uh, you know, to get to the movie area before the, this place closes. You can see this one, they put all the pallets and stuff out so it's like the, for like the overnight crew and that kind of thing. But the movie place is like way in the back corner to the right up there. So it's like way the heck in the back of the store. I gotta get to see what they have, the particular title I want to get. Like I said, hopefully it's the one I want. It sucks that this one closes at around 11. I don't know why, but it does. It's like weird and it's like kind of like a lock and key for certain movies up in here, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they got these lock and key. I've never seen this at a Walmart, like lock and key for movies. Huh. But a certain one I want to get, I don't know, if it's not in there. So hopefully it's up here. Where the one I want to get actually a certain Blu-ray, which, you know, hopefully they have it. And it's like I'm under pressure to try to find it because it's like, like a certain amount of time. Let's see what they got. Which one is it? These are all the new releases in here. What the heck? So they get all the new ones up in these like, this little cabin. It kind of sucks because you have to like ask for help if you want to look at it. That is really, really odd. I'm looking around, I just had to close like in like a few minutes and stuff. Now, the, one I'm, the one movie I want to get, they don't have here. So I have to try to find a Walmart that closes at midnight. I thought they all usually close around midnight or 24 hours, at least around the you know, Christmas holiday time. But this one does not. The one I picked, the one I went to just now does not do it. Because we're like, these ones are like out of this case. And the ones in here are all in cases. It's so confusing. It's a weird, weird uh, area of the movies. It's all kind of goofy and stuff. But... Yeah, unfortunately, they don't have the one I want here. I don't see it anywhere. They have every movie but the one I want. So it's like, oh man, like, bummer. All right, now off to Walmart number two. Walmart number two. Hopefully they have it in here. Hopefully two times is the charm. There's all like these blow-up things out in the front of it, but hopefully, hopefully they have what I'm looking for here. And I'm hoping that I can actually see the movies and not behind like, like a glass plastic cabinet type thing. And yes, and this one is, looks like it's like it open late. Not like the other one that closed at 11, which is weird. This one's I think at least till midnight or 24 hours. It's one of the two, but let's go do this. It's like a mountain tower of candy canes. It's like look at this one, the very top. Like I want the one at the very top. I want to get that one, but that thing will crash on me. But. Let's go where this is at. This was most more. I don't think I, I don't even know like where the heck the movies are at. So I'm gonna try and see where it might be. Well, it's almost like a Black Friday coming around here looking for stuff, like aimlessly, like in a, in a crazy frantic panic, trying to find a certain title that I want to get. But we'll see. Hopefully, this one has it. These things always like these things. Good old classic stocking stuffer stuff are these. Right, I found the movie area. And the good thing too is that these flicks actually, I, I can actually, you know, touch them and I have to go behind like glass and whatever to get them. So like regular, 
It was so weird the first one. I'm like, what? And hopefully they have what I'm looking for. And bum, 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 bum. oh yes, they do have what I'm looking for. And it is this, the Fanatic. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get this. Um, I heard nothing but good things about it. Like, like it's, it's bad, but in the best way. Directed by Fred Durst. Um, so yes, you know, Fred Durst. His name's all over the bottom of this thing. It's like story by Fred Durst, screenplay by Fred Durst, and directed by Fred Durst. And John Travolta gives like the weirdest, weird, crappy hairdo. Um, this is so funny. Cause it reminds me of like someone I would see, like at the convention. Like I actually see this guy, weird, crazy guy, <laughs> doing this like a celebrity. My buddy's cool dude. One movie one says it's a great flick, and I've heard nothing but you know great things about this bad movie. So it gets bad, but in the best sense. So I love that. So definitely stoked to actually to get this on Blu-ray. Hell yeah! I'll probably watch this tonight. Good times. I was looking around too, see what else they might have here, just to see. Have like like this these little little Christmas S course classic Home Alone 2 on Blu-ray. Scrooge, love that because it comes like a little ornament right there. That's kind of neat. This one does two planes, trains, and automobiles. And it appears like oh yeah, it's like a bunch of these Christmas ones. Like they're all these classic ones for the most part. Some are like newer ones. I have no idea what they're about. But of course, this one. Total must. Yep, we got the, here we go, Arcade 1-Ups. Should I just buy this one right now? Because I definitely want to get, how heavy is this thing? God, it's heavy as hell. And what's this, comes with, I think it comes with the whole, like, get this little standy two thing, too. This one, I definitely, <laughs> definitely want this one. So, so bad, I want this one. Um, uh, maybe I'll, if I'm a good boy, maybe Santa Claus will get this for me underneath the Christmas tree for Christmas this year. If I'm a good boy, play my cards right, I will have this. This is definitely one I had. definitely like it. I can't wait. I love all these cool systems. They're pretty rad. What is this? A, gig a gig giant ring pop? Oh, that's gross. It's heavy, too. A gi giant ring pop. Now, that that's taking these jumbo things a bit too far. Is a jumbo ring pop? Do you put this on your wrist? Like you can't have it on your ring on your, your finger. I don't know. That's that's a bit strange. I'm looking around. I see this thing called Santa's Enchanted Mailbox. What the heck is so enchanted about a mailbox? You write a letter to Santa, raise the flag, insert the letter in the mailbox, and that's all it does. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that. Santa's Enchanted Mailbox. Oh, that's creepy. First, write a letter to me. You write a letter to you. Santa. Then place the letter into your magical oh, mailbox. Magical. Raise the flag and listen to the enchanted sound. Whoa. Open whoa. the mailbox again and your letter is on the way to me at the North Pole. What in the heck is that? Just picked up Fanatic right there and also had to get some hooks for some bulbs for my tree because I threw the ones out last time like a fool and in the, in the move from last time. I don't know what happened to him, but I got some new ones, only a dollar. So, but now, get that. Go to check this out tonight. Fanatic, it looks cringy good. Right, back home now. Um, definitely cannot wait to check out, you know, the Fanatic. And I figure it's a little weird, you know, Blu-ray movie hunting kind of movie night deal with me. So, yeah. I'm going to go pop this on in a little bit. And maybe, you know, I'll share my thoughts uh, with you guys while I watch the movie and get some snacks. I'm a little bit hungry right now, so I'm going to get a little snack for myself. Stoked about this. Here's a little sneak peek of the tree. Oh yeah, right there. I need to put the, the bulbs on there. Get these little cool ones from last year, the uh, these Halloween ones. So I got you know, hooks are for that. But oh yes, so let me change and then <laughs> check out this Fred Durst masterpiece. All right, this is a little fun thing. Like remember like back in the day, MTV Cribs and stuff, they'd be like, Let's go see what's in the fridge. So now let's go see what's inside my fridge, Sinistalker's fridge. Let's see what I have in here. All right, let's go see what kind of odd things I might have in my fridge. You guys ready to see what? John, let's go see what we get in here. This is what I have up in my fridge. Oh, yeah. You got some Clamato for the Micheladas. You got a partially opened up can of Coca Cola. Gotta love that. Some eggnog, which I have yet to crack open. Some hazelnut for the coffee. I do like me some coffee. Some more Coca Colas. I do, I do like I have them all facing out this way. That's like my thing. I got some Sunny D. Some lemon mineral water. 
more ketchup, some real craft mayo, some mustard. That's what I got right there. So this was in my fridge. And what do we got in here? Some lunch meat. So yeah, that's what I got in there. Freezer, not so much. Just some odd things. Pretty pitiful. Here we got like more like little snack type things. So this is what I got up here. I got you know bread, Oreos, some sauce, some coffee. Gotta have the maruchan on point, you know what I mean? Got some chips. I gotta have some of these while I watch the fanatics and get some chips going. Have some cold pizza and a coke. I'm down. Put my coke in my little monster glass, you know what I mean? That's how it's done. Cold pizza on lock. I got it right up here. Cause you know what? Sometimes you just want to eat cold pizza. I don't want to heat this up. I just want to eat this like that. Hmm. Hold it out. Oh yeah, we are set. Chips, pizza, cold pizza. I might add, and of course, fanatic right here. Boom. Wow. Oh. The very first line of the movie, John Fulton says, he's like, "I can't talk. I can't be too long. I got to poo." <laughs> Oh my God, so good. Let's finish watching The Fanatic. Um, yeah, really good uh, you know, twist ending. I'm not gonna, you know, of course, give nothing away, but man, it was like, uh, it was fun. It was a fun movie. Uh, John Travolta was, did a great job in it, I thought. Like he just, he definitely carried the movie, even though he was really over the top with it. But, um, you know, like really hardcore over the top. But it, but it was fun, it was really fun, did a good job. I just like, I like it because it's like, it's, I swear, it's like people I can definitely see sometimes at conventions maybe, or just around Hollywood or whatever like that, like, like and, and things like that, that nature, but definitely fun one to check out. Um, cringy, yes, but in the best sense is uh, The Fanatic. Definitely enjoyable watch. That pretty much does it for this little random video right here of some fun hitting up some Blu-ray hunting at Walmart for The Fanatic. And little watching it here at home, eating some snacks and goodness like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and let me know if you check out the Fanatic or will uh, rent out or buy the Fanatic at a Red Box or you know pick it up at Walmart. Let me know if you guys will. I definitely say check it out. It, it's it's fun, it's bad, but good, good bad, good cringe, super good, cult classic. The fanatic, I say, I think it will be. Good stuff. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. I'll see you.